Hi, this is John Kelly, 6x6 Design. We're back here with you to show you how to get your files and pictures and documents and all the stuff you need to get over to me to put on your to place on your website. Uh, what again? I said I rather you do not email me any of this stuff because that usually has a problem because sometimes photos and files and things are too large to send, especially in a group. Uh, I developed a an upload service here for you to make this a lot faster and a lot easier and a lot more reliable to do just what it is we need to do. So you've already filled out your form, you've already gotten your domain names and um, the next step here is you click on step number three to take you to your upload. Okay, well what I'm here to do is uh, to talk to two different groups of people. Somebody who already knows how to search for files on their computer and upload them. It's just like attaching a, an attachment to an email. You have to search for the file, attach it, and before you send the email. Uh, if you're pretty familiar with that, you can just go right down to the form, fill out, browse for your files, and click upload. Uh, for the remainder of you who don't, you know, may have no clue what I'm talking about here and would like a little guidance about these steps, well, I'm simply, that's what this video is all about. Here to help you do just that. So, let's start with that first. Okay, first off, I notice here in step one, I put a, I noted here, make sure you organize all your materials and keep them all in one place. I suggest creating a folder on your computer's desktop. Save all the files that you're going to send to me there. And there's a good reason why you want to do that because it keeps them all in one spot and it's going to make you uploading your files a lot easier. So here's what we can do. Just to start on step number one, I'm going to just close up the screen just a moment, just minimize it. And if you notice, I already have a folder here on my desktop called Uploads. How did I create that? Well, anywhere on your desktop, just uh, except for on another folder or link, just right click with your mouse and that's going to open up this folder, this uh, window, and it says new. So click on or just go to new and then go over here to folder. And when you do that, it's going to create a new folder. Now you can just simply delete that or backspace and you can type in a new name of the folder, whatever you want it to be. Okay, well, I don't really need that folder, so I'm just going to delete it because I already have a folder here on my computer that says uploads. So this is where I'm going to put all my files, all my pictures, everything that I have. So maybe you have a picture of your staff and it's in your My Pictures folder. So I'm using Windows XP. Uh, you may have Windows Vista. It's okay. It's all pretty much uh, close to being the same. may look a little different than this. But I go to uh, my documents or my pictures and I want to pick out a picture that I want to save to uh, the computer. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find the uh, pictures that I want and stick them in there. So, for example, here's Buster on his 18th birthday. So I want to save that picture. And uh, what we want to do to save that is simply do this. Go down here where it says copy to. There's a little disk. Normally it's a save icon. And where it's going to ask you where to save it to. The same spot that I came from? No. Well, I want to go to that folder on my desktop. So to get there, over here where it says desktop, you can click that. That's just the easy thing to do. Okay. Or the other thing you can do if you don't have that there is up here in this box, there's a drop down arrow. You can click on that, scroll to the top, and usually at the very top, you'll see desktop. That's the highest level in your directory. So either one takes you to the same place. Now, from there, go find that folder that you made. Okay. Uh, you remember the name of it was uploads. Okay, so I click on that, and right now there's uh, no other pictures in here. You don't see anything, so that's okay. I'm going to give this a file name, whatever I want to call that picture. In this case, 18th birthday. I click save, and I'm done. Okay, so if there's any other pictures that you have that you want to save, you can go in there and do the same thing and save them all in that file. All right, so now I'm done doing that. Maybe you have a uh, Word document that you created that you want to save in there. So, for example, here's your home page content, and here's the picture that you want to send with that. No problem. Whether it's Word or Works or Excel, whatever it is that you're using, you go up to where it says File, and go to Save As. Not Save, but Save As. And I gave this thing a name called Home Page, and it's a document file. And if you notice, it's already saved in there, so... I just went and clicked save and it's in the same spot. Okay, 
So if I go to my Uploads folder now on my desktop, double click on it, you can see the two different files that I have in here already. And uh, these are the ones I want to upload. Okay, so now I go back to the Upload form on this page. So step number one, okay, I figured out how to save everything in one place. Step number two, complete the form below and hit Browse and find your files. Step number three, just send me only the files that you need to send me, nothing else. I don't need entire programs and Word and Excel, things like that, just the files that you need to send me, period. And after you're done putting your files in, click Upload. And that's it. Okay, so we go down here and we go to the form and tell me the name of the contact person and the business name that these files are associated with. Give me an email address and a phone number. Give me any other instructions down here and what you're sending me. Just be very brief. I don't need a book. You don't need all the file names listed. Just tell me what you're sending me. And you have up to 10 items that you can send to me at the same time. So you can go to down to each one of these items and click Browse. When I click Browse, it's going to ask me to go find the files that you want to upload. Well, I'm in an Images folder somewhere on my computer, but it's not where I want to be. So again, I can either go here to the drop-down and go up and pick Desktop off the list, or even easier, I can simply go over here where it says Desktop. Go find that folder called Uploads. And there it is. Now, what I can do is I can't click a group of these at a time, just one at a time. So start in the top, work your way down. There's the picture I want to upload. It puts it in. Go to the next one. Click that one. Puts it in. Okay, now I'm ready to upload. So all I have to do, once I get all my files in here, click Upload, and now it's taking place. Now the screen will change to this. And you can see that form went away, and now it's saying that I'm uploading, and you'll see the percentage of completion that's taking place and how long. Obviously, the more files you have, the longer this will take. The same thing with your internet connection. It could take a while if you have a lot of files. But, um, you know, I only have a couple of files here, so this is going to complete pretty fast. If you do have more files to send, no problem. As soon as this is done uploading, it's going to put a link right here to take you back, and here it is. It says click here to return to the upload form. Now once your upload is done, it's going to give you a reference number. You can write it down, but it's not really important. There's nothing you're going to need to do with it. Um, it's also going to give you links proving that your upload took place. And of course it says uh, click here to return to the upload form when you're all done if you got more, more to send. So I click there and it takes me right back and I just again do the same thing. Put the stuff in there that I need to do. And whatever it is that you're sending me, and browse for the next item that you're going to send. And if you notice, it automatically opens your uploads folder every time I go back and browse. That's why I want you to keep them all in the same place. So anyway, that's what it does. Now what's going to happen is, is when you create an upload, is it's going to send me an email, and that email is going to tell me where it came from and the files, and then I can go and download the files that you sent me. So it's real simple. So please refrain from emailing me any of your uploads, please. Uh, email causes a problem, usually dumps things in spam and junk folders. Sometimes the email clients can't handle large files. So this is a much easier way to do things. If you have any questions, you can call me directly or send me an email. And uh, all my information is here. And uh, you can email me at john at 6x6design.com. And thanks for watching. And get, get uploading, please. Thank you.